explain this experiment. Um, Michael J. Hendershot has been kind enough to respond to some of my YouTube videos. Um, one question I asked him was, um, uh, does he recall the bar being uh, attached to the magnet or being attached to the solenoid? Uh, he responded that he remembers it being near the solenoid or attached to it. Um, and that is interesting because the solenoid, um, when it's being pulsed, uh, will create a, um, a, a, if this is attacked, will create a um, magnetic loop. Um, then when the pulse goes away, the bar can be pulled off of the magnetic loop, breaking the connection, inducing a large uh, current into the coils. And um, so I want to show you this experiment, which kind of shows that that occurs. Um, I have a, a schematic here um, of, of this um, part of this uh, 555 timer circuit. The, there's a 2N3055, which will be driving the solenoids with a pulse, a square wave pulse, with a frequency that I can control. And um, then this goes through a 15 ohm resistor up to the uh, voltage of 13.8 of volts DC. Um, so I'm going to have a voltmeter across this um, resistor, which will um, be sort of an indirect way of measuring current by, by watching the voltage here. And um, uh, these solenoids I measured to be about 9 ohms. Uh, so um, let me uh, show you. So we've got two meters. Uh, this one will show the volts uh, on that 15 ohm resistor, and this will show you the frequency. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, hold this up here, turn this on. I'm going to um, stick with this frequency, although the frequency, uh, you know, this will work at different frequencies. Um, so the bar, the bar kind of sticks. I'm pulling it. It's kind of sticking. This is pulsing, you know, at a kilohertz, so um, that's enough to sort of uh, keep the bar held there. Um, these solenoids are uh, also sort of touching on the backside, not 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 making a strong connection. There really should be a connection on this side too. Um, anyway, so um, here we have a voltage across the uh, 15 ohm of 472, and as I let me back up, as I move the magnet closer. you'll notice the current go up, or the voltage go up. And then as I move it away, it goes down. Now if I, this is not held together firmly. If I move it too close, it will um, snap against the magnet, but Um, so let me pull this back again, so the current drops. Now, um, that's with the south pole here, and with the pulse creating a north pole here or a south pole here. So um, there is a mutual attraction that occurs when this is being pulsed. If I flip the direction of this magnet, um, and now when I move close, the current drops. Because there's a mutual repulsion. So in terms of a sort of uh, variable inductor-ish kind of control here, you can um, go either side of the curve by uh, just switching polarities. Now. Um, I'm not very good mechanically, but a better mechanical arrangement probably would be to attach a plate between these two so that you complete the round tripping magnetic field. Have this be sort of loose uh, relay style where it can snap back and forth between these two, making and breaking the magnetic connection, which will induce a large current 
that is manifest as back, back current to this resistor here. Fascinating.